Bolts often come loose due to dynamic vibrations. The bolt always tries to loosen due to the angle of the thread. In static conditions, loosening is prevented due to friction on the thread and from bolt or nut surfaces. Any movement between the parts in a joint jeopardizes the security. We will now see what happens to the bolt tension in a joint when the material under the nut vibrates laterally. First, we tighten to a bolt force of 4,000 pounds. The nut starts to loosen and the tension drops. Old methods of securing bolts are the use of locking wires, tab washers, and castle nuts. The assembly becomes time-consuming and the security varies with the skill of the mechanic. Dismantling is always tedious. Bolt securing is now often done with adhesives. There is a curing time and surfaces must be dry and clean. Dismantling is always tedious. Other methods try increasing friction in the thread and towards the material. This can be achieved by a nylon insert in the thread, deformation of the thread, serrated washer, serrated bolt head and nut, or spring washer, often with limited success in vibration environments. The security varies since the friction is not constant. You will see from these vibration tests how the bolt force drops when the nut unscrews itself. We are now carrying out the test with a nylon insert nut and now a deformed nut. Here we run the test with a spring washer. Locking nuts with friction added to the thread do not fall off even if they partially loosen. There is no guarantee of a high tension being maintained. Another method is double nuts. They also spin loose. Sharp serrations, enlarged heads, and flanged nuts cause more resistance when tightening. This influences the bolt force. When a standard nut of size 5 16 is tightened with a torque of 18 foot-pounds, we achieve a force of 5,000 pounds. A nut locked with a serrated washer achieves a force of 4,000 pounds from the same torque. With a serrated and flanged nut, the force stops at 2,500 pounds. The preload output is lower due to high friction. Lubricated surfaces give an even bolt tension to bolts tightened with a constant torque. Security decreases if the surfaces are well lubricated due to the bolt turning more easily. The higher force doesn't create extra security. Larger bolt sizes must be lubricated if a proper preload is to be achieved. Here we can see the difference in bolt force using dry and lubricated surfaces. The Nordlock washers have cams on one side and radial teeth on the other and are installed in pairs cam face to cam face. When the bolt and or nut is tightened, the teeth grip the mating surface. The washers lie still during tightening when the sliding is towards the upper washer. Since the teeth cause some extra tightening resistance, the torque should be 20% higher than is recommended for a flat electrozinc plated surface. When unfastening, the teeth grip and the washers slide on the cams where the friction is low. 
There is no scratching of the material surface. The cam angle is greater than the pitch of the bolt. Consequently, the cam action generates a small increase of the force before the bolt is completely unfastened. This increase of force can only occur when unfastening. The tension does not reach the yield point when unfastening. There is no risk of stretching the bolt. A bolt locked with Nordlock can never start turning from dynamic loads. It can never vibrate loose. The cam action makes the tension lock the bolt and not the friction. The Nordlock bolt securing system gives 100% security under any friction condition. Here we have locked the nut with Nordlock and tightened with 22 foot-pounds torque. The initial bolt force, 4,000 pounds, is reduced by 10 percent due to settlement, mainly in the thread. The nut can't vibrate loose since the bolt force must be increased. Now when we unfasten the nut, notice how the force increases slightly. The unfastening torque is only 15 foot-pounds, considerably lower than the tightening torque, since the sliding goes between the smooth cam faces. We now lubricate the nut to reuse the fastener. Notice that the joint is as safely locked as the first time. The washers can stand the same temperature as the bolts. Reusing is no problem, since Nordlock has a hardness of 48 Rockwell C. This is higher than the hardness of high-grade bolts. The surface of the material is of no importance. It can be rough or ground, but it must not be harder than 45 Rockwell C. Tightening towards a painted surface gives 100% security. Remember that the friction is always lower between the washers than the teeth sides during loosening. When reusing, it is always important to lubricate the bolt to achieve a high bolt force. This is more important for larger bolt sizes. Lubricated fasteners always make tightening and unfastening easier. Nordlock the simple and safe method to secure bolts.